Hi everybody. Uh, today I'm gonna show you about vector variable uh, using Unreal Engine. Uh, you know what is vector variable and you know how to use it. So I just uh, create a variable and I just name it vector. My variable type is also vector, but in default you will get boolean variable. But you can change the type. So vector is a 3D. 3D means uh, third dimensional, three dimensional x y and z that's why it means uh, height and weight and z means depth so that's it so mainly we use this for location location based work mostly we use it for that so you see 0 0 0 0 0 0 is x y and z axis so i we can uh, definitely add the variable as a get and set but if you press control and drag and drop it would be get and if you press alter and drag and drop it would be set you can use a handy shortcut like this also compile and save so we can add a place actor from here and from here we just add uh, a cube a cube in here so we will move it through x y and z x is red y is uh, green and z is uh, yellow so i just uh, uh, here is zero 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 but we can copy the location copy and we can paste it in here right button paste you see the it paste uh, perfectly it's one z so i just uh, create another vector uh, variable i name it vector 2 and i just change the z axis to like 500 it would be up and down we want to up and down our uh, uh, cube right button create a reference of cube 2 this is the reference and i add a one key means if we press one in our uh, then we can uh, add a one key now i want to add a set at the location but we cannot find it through the one press key because we will find it in cube reference just uh, search set at the location and you will find the location now you can see the vector and the location color is same yellow because we can directly use it in there so i just add uh, vector 2 which is the 500 more 500 in the z axis value so it will go up and down it will go, the, go up so if we press uh, 1 it will go up so we will code like that but it's not working because it's in a static position uh, change it to the movable so if we press one it will go up so now we can play a game what is the game if we press one it will be up and if we press one again it will be down so uh, add a, a function called flip-flop so what the flip-flop does flip-flop just uh, run in a1 if we press again it will run b if you press again it will run a if you press a it will run b again so add set at all location at the target add the location and on the vector add the just add the vector compile and save so alter p press one up press one down one up one down so isn't it nice it's nice Also, you can see the color is changing because we are using lumen and lumen uh, changes the color very uh, dramatically. So, we just give the z axis the same value. Now, I just want to change the x axis. This is on the red, like uh, front and back. So, I give it to, to uh, 2000. So, if you play and press 1, it would go front like here front and back one here one here one here one here so uh, we can uh, play as much as we want so I give just uh, I just change now on uh, y axis it will go there and there 
one in here one in here one in here one in here so you can see the changes so this is how we can uh, make changes to a location using the vector variable as I said before it only works in location based like z axis like x axis and li like uh, y axis you can see the axis is changing if you see the location so now I just add uh, event uh, begin play and I just check the print string I add a print string and I just copy the vector and add it in here compile and save now if we play and we can see the xyz print string showing so we can change the location and you see the location is changed I just press uh, alter and Z it will now add uh, target point make it upper now copy it copy the location paste the location here in vector 2 I just disconnect it and I just delete all of it because I don't need it and from here I just add a function called uh, spawn actor on location and I just add actor I just uh, you can add anything you want I just add I can add my own character bp third person character and here you can see uh, spawn transform we can split it now you can see location rotation and scale I just add to the location so when I press uh, 1 uh, my character will spawn in here 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 the more you press the more will spawn so how much you press that much it create so this is for today's tutorial I hope you like it you understand it so bye bye and see you in next tutorial